Good morning. Okay, I'm going to start simple on this investigation. Join the forum in the description to watch the progress and see what happens. Okay, so simple. Six bearings. Two, one on top, one on bottom. Four, six. Makes a rotor that spins on a stationary shaft. Stationary shaft mounts a stationary gear. Okay, now we have rota rotating bearings in the rotor on either side. Next, we're going to print printing out gears that link onto these ones with the rotating shaft in these. So this would make a planetary gear that goes around. Okay. Then I have magnet holders that are printed out to go on top of the planetary gears where I could adjust the positioning of the magnets to see how they interact. Okay. I'm going to first start off with two wings. I might go to three and four and five and up later, but right now we're going to start with two at a one-to-one -one ratio and just see the interaction. What happens if the magnets are 90 degrees oriented from each other? They're always trying to align to each other and pulling each other around. I want to, you could draw it out on paper, but you're never going to be able to know exactly how it's going to react until you simulate it maybe or you get a working model. So that's where we're starting. I will update once I have the gears going and a magnet spinning and then show you what I see as I go. I could also adjust the gear ratio, make this one smaller with less teeth, make these ones bigger with more teeth and have a two to one or one and a half, whatever ratio I want to see what kind of interaction we have. We could investigate how the two planetary gears interact with each other to twist it. We can mount magnets on this or on the shaft to start twisting it and to get them to attract or end we could put induction coils on the outside and watch the induction as you have a rotating stator, a moving rotating stator going past the induction coil. What could we do with this? I don't know. Join the forum and we'll see.